Okay, so this video, I'm going to show how to connect one of these Elm Mini, uh, Elm 327 Mini OBD2 scanners to the Android car stereo. So the first thing I'm going to do is plug this into the OBD port here on this Montero. Done. I'll turn on the car. Takes a minute for the stereo to boot up. This is an older one. Android 4.2, 16 gigs, one gig. So I've already entered a vehicle profile, which is one of the first things Torque is gonna ask. I'll just show that real quick. Something I've noticed that uh, this particular stereo doesn't like to be paired with more than one yeah, USB <laughs> device at a time. So I'm going to show you, uh, first we need to make sure, so it's paired with the phone, it brings up this phone interface. So I'm going to go to this button here because I want to make sure that it sees the OBD2. Okay, so now that we see that it sees the OBD2, I'll usually push on it. It says already connected to one device. Well, we know that it sees it. So that's all, that's what I get, but it works like this. So I go back to, uh, applications I'll go to torque startup torque now you see I've already have a profile here uh, the first thing it says usually when you just start up torque for the first time is make a profile so just go in there and enter some profile information hit save your vehicle information hit save it doesn't have to be complete you can go back and uh, edit it now you see it, it already connected here it's because uh, if it doesn't already connect, you go into adapter status and you can see if it's connecting. Sometimes it just, if you're in torque and it doesn't connect, hit that adapter status, it might ask it to like go and look for the adapter. So as you see, it's, it's running already. So go to real time information. It's pretty simple so I actually just had my wife test call to the phone and the phone seems to work even when running uh, real time so even though this device doesn't seem to like want to pair to more than one USB or sorry Bluetooth device it, it is capable as most devices are and it runs both the, the phone on Bluetooth and the OBD2 scanner so I can actually probably just keep it in there and, and drive with it all right that's that